I don't know. Something about the kid just rubs me the wrong way. So you don't think he's up to the job? Thank you. No. He was the top recruit at the academy. He's a rock star. I mean, he is definitely up to the job. Oh, so then, what's fucking you? Here, elevate him a little higher. You know, he's just one of those pick-me types. Always has his hand up in the air. Always got to rush in first. He's just so, I don't know, hungry. Weren't you hungry when you hit the streets? Yeah, but I was hungry for justice. Part of me worries this boy's hungry for something else. Like what? Power, glory, control. And what about the other part of you? The other part of me worries that he might be in it for all the right reasons. And that my main problem at the moment is that it's hard for me to keep up with him. <sighs> How's it feeling, by the way? It hurts like hell. <laughs> You know, Bobby wants me to use a crutch, but I am not going to be shuffling around here like some granny with a cane. <laughs> that would be quite the sight, though. Yeah, one you'll never see. <laughs> you know, my doctor says that I might be losing a step. Can you believe that? Well, yeah. What? Listen, there's no shame in it, Athena. You've been patrolling the streets for how many decades now? Uh, watch it. Now, listen, my point is there's bound to be some wear and tear. But whatever you lose in speed and power, you gain in wisdom and instinct. That sounds like a nice way of saying old. <laughs> so what do you think? I mean, should I just get over myself and cut this kid some slack? I think you should get over yourself and then follow your instinct. 